hacking our nervous system this is one of the most important things that we can be learning to do in this time if we have seen anything over the past especially four years that we can see that those who have a strong nervous system will prevail they will get to the other side without the <laughs> bumps and bruises and and while things will still be challenging we can make it to the other side without so much suffering so much coming into our path and really derailing us and so here's the thing this is one of the most important things that we can be talking about and i see so many people learning more about the nervous system training their nervous system becoming more resilient and this is incredible this is incredible because again these wild times we are living in having a strong nervous system as our foundation is the key it's the key to mastering and achieving and creating everything you want now i would say that it goes hand in hand with intuition but see my other episodes and and videos and podcasts on that because there's so much resources so many resources and Oh, so much wisdom to help get you to having that precise intuition to communicating with your angels and guides. And if you're not in the miracle frequency, hop into the miracle frequency. The link is below for that. I help you cultivate and create and tap into your higher self, communicating with source, spirit, God, talking with your angels and guides. So that's really a whole beautiful language and and world and universe that we have to master as well but today we are talking about the nervous system because this is ultimately going to help us with our intuition it is going to help us i really see these as like just two necessities for creating and maintaining the life that we want and they will they they will feed back into each other so as we cultivate and strengthen our nervous system it will amplify our intuition as we amplify our intuition we will create and strengthen our nervous system so this topic i really believe if you are here this is going to change your life because we need to understand why this is so important our ancestors used to there used to be that saying survival of the fittest and i really believe now it is survival of the strongest nervous system whoever has the strongest nervous system they will prevail they will go on to achieve and become and create what they want and desire why is this so why is this the case? This is the case because we can only do and achieve and create to the capacity to which we have the resilience to. So if we are going around with a full cup, we don't have the resilience to uh, really do anything outside of what our brain and unconscious mind have formed a habitual pattern to do. So anything that is a habit that we do on a daily basis this is the only thing that our brain has the and our body has the capacity to do and so we need to begin to to stretch just like and 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 exercise and work out just like a muscle just like we would go to the gym and work out our muscles this is what we need to do for our nervous system and so this is such an important balance of of learning and knowing, and this is where intuition is really going to come in and be very helpful and supportive, but knowing when we can push our nervous system and strengthen it versus when we need to step back and take care of our nervous system and nurture it. These are really important things to learn because if we are always coddling our nervous system and always like trying to protect it, like I see like, um, you know, like the image of like a mom never wanting to like let her her child go out into the cold, cruel world. But in the cold, cruel world, that child is going to learn and they're going to fall down and they're going to grow and they're going to evolve, right? But if we're always testing our nervous system, which the past four years have tested a lot of people's nervous systems, and we get into this place of like, 
the cup is full. Now this is where we have burnout. We have adrenal fatigue. We have thyroid issues and we get caught and stuck in that fight or flight, the freeze, the fawn. And that is where we can't keep pushing our nervous system in that state. It's, it's just going to further exacerbate and further create the exhaustion, the fatigue, and going to lead to some pretty intense health issues. So the first is going to be to learn through our intuition, through really developing this communication with the body temple, the body vessel, what is my body able and capable of right now, today, this week, this month, right? And if you work with me, I help show you and lead you and guide you to this. This is where one-on-one work, whether it is in one session or in continual coaching, I will help you refine and create the awareness within you because we've just been taught to externalize so much. We've been taught that a doctor knows better than we than we do. We have been taught that a healer knows us better than we do. And this just isn't the case. You are your own healer. And any healer, doctor, practitioner that quote heals you, they're not healing you. They're setting the environment for your body to heal itself. So I'm not saying never go to a healer and a practitioner and a doctor. Absolutely not. Um, But know that anyone and everything is only leading you to your own body's ability to heal. So with that, I want to, first of all, as well, talk about two types of nervous system work. Two types. This is how, and again, this is how I see and perceive all of this. So the two types of nervous system work we have are the nervous system work that is like the daily, the things that we do every day to keep our our, our nervous system in check. We keep it in balance. Just as we do things every day for our health and our physical well-being, there are daily practices that can really help our nervous system, whether it is allow it to rest and relax, or whether it is strengthen it. The second type of nervous system regulation is going to be the things that we're going to talk about today that are really going to move the needle for your baseline regulation. Why this is so important is if you, if your nervous system is taxed out, if it is fatigued, if your trauma cup is full, you could be doing nervous system regulation all day long. And I see this. <laughs> I Back in the day, I was this. I could spend, I didn't, but I could spend the entire day trying to regulate my nervous system and and literally just be doing that. I could be just be doing that. It, there's, and I, there's a lot of people who are like this, where their nervous system is so out of whack, so fatigued, that that's what they need, is literally like a full-time job, like eight hours of doing the nervous system regulation things, okay? Now, I'm going to help you bypass all of that, because again, there are practices to do every day, just like we maintain our body and our health, but there are really important things that we need to do in order to create resiliency in the body. This is so that we don't have to spend all day doing nervous system regulation and we can do maybe five, 10 minutes and feel really good. So the first part that really moves the needle for this deep, nervous system regulation. You probably know where I'm going with this. It's releasing trauma from the body. It's letting go of stuck energy in our field because what trauma does is it creates energy blockages in the field, in our system, in our body, manifests as physical symptoms, ailments, dis-ease, This is what trauma does when held for too long in the body. And so when trauma is held in the body, 
and we, here's the thing we I've talked about this before we all have trauma we all 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 have it and there's no like trauma olympics like yours is worse or not as worse as someone else no it's it doesn't actually matter what you went through like I hear some people say I like my childhood was good though like I didn't like I didn't have sexual abuse I like my parents you know we had a good family like I didn't really have anything here's the thing children perceive the world in a very different way than adults do. And so something as simple as mom going away for a trip for the first time can be very traumatic for a child. Something as simple as a sibling being born can be very traumatic for the child because now the the you were getting attention all of the time from mom and dad and now there's there's another person who's get they're getting way more attention. These can cause trauma. Like, and so these these aren't bad things at all. But we have to understand that the brain and the body interpret these as as stressors, as stressors. And so we work through these so that we now can live later on in life, not carrying that. And for some of you, I know many of you, I've worked with many of you in sessions who have gone through like wildly intense sexual abuse and emotional abuse and all of these things. And this is really important to, to resolve this energy in the body. When we resolve this energy in the body, and this is another really, really, really big key that a lot of people will not tell you. They will not show you. They will not lead you to. It is not just about getting rid of, getting rid of, getting rid of. It is about working with the energy. So a lot of times when I have people come to me, it is not just about releasing and letting go and goodbye, get out of my body. It's about understanding, working with the energy, and perhaps even giving the energy a new role so that it can actually heal you and create with you rather than destruct being a destructive force within you. This is something I do not see many people do at all. And we have to really begin. This is where working with our intuition, working with a guide, working with someone who can help you in this process is so important. And if that is you, please reach out, whether it's me or someone else, because when we learn to work with energy in a new way and rather than just like okay goodbye get out of my body and we can begin to understand it get curious see what the messages is what the messages are now we begin to alchemize to transform to recreate this energy within us that is a very powerful force. It has obviously caused a lot of havoc and therefore it can also cause a lot of growth and and beauty and expansion and, and love. We have to understand this. And so what can transpire is that someone can be at like a level eight, nine, 10, like their nervous system is just like, maxed out right again these are the people who could have a full-time job of nervous system regulation and when you do begin to and if you're here you've probably already been doing this work so congratulations (laughs) but if you feel that your nervous system isn't quite where you want it to be there are still going to be things that we can do to work with the nervous system in ways and so I always start with number one being the traumas, releasing the big traumas that are being held in your fields that are blocking up your energy from feeling vital and healthy and whole. And so then then we have this trickle down because then we can begin to work with the physical. We can begin to do things with the diet. I never just start with the diet of like, just go on an elimination diet because if you just go on an elimination diet without doing the emotional work, you're not healing from the root. You're really not because you're going to actually exacerbate and create 
more imbalances because you're still in that fight or flight. You're still in that stress state. Your nervous system is still taxed. And so then when you reintroduce those foods, sure, you might feel you'll actually most likely begin to be like, oh, my body doesn't like this food, this food, this food, this food, this food. And I, oh, and I guess I just can't live with this forever for the rest of my life. No, no, there's a reason why. I'm not saying that like your body should feel great eating junk food, but wholesome, I mean, there's like this whole war on like <laughs> fruits and vegetables and all of these foods are no suddenly like bad and demonized and like, and just eliminate entire food categories. People are saying to literally eliminate entire food categories to heal. And this is just, I was there for a long time in my teaching and what I was learning. And I just, now I just don't see that as the case. It, there's an emotional component there's an emotional component. Sure, everyone might have a few foods that don't resonate with them. But if you have entire categories of foods and all this long list of foods that you can't eat, there's an emotional component. There's a nervous system component. Okay? So I never just say, like, just start with the elimination diet and see what happens. I feel like that is very, is going to lead to a long road of healing. So, when we start with the emotional, when we start with the nervous system, then we can begin to go into the physical. Then we can begin to work with what foods, what way of eating is really beneficial and will bring harmonization to the body vessel. This is going to be about perhaps not doing intermittent fasting or, or doing it. Our bodies, everybody is different. This could be actually about adding more food in. This could be about changing the environment in which you eat. This could be about changing, this could be about changing the foods you eat rather than eating out all of the time, preparing foods or having someone prepare home cooked meals for you. This could be about, you know, making healthy swaps with and still having like, like desserts, but having them be more healthy. This could be about working with your carb fat protein ratio and having more protein. I would say, it, especially not even just for women, but a lot of people I see, um, especially when regulating your nervous system, protein is going to be so beneficial and powerful and really help bolster the nervous system, right? So these are the types and ways of working with the physical and working with food that I like to do rather than just like, it's not all just the food and it's not all just uh, the emotional, it's both. But when we start with the emotional, it gives us the resilience to work with the physical in in these ways of, of working with foods now and nutrition and supplementation. And oh my goodness, please, please do not, <laughs> of course, consult your medical practitioner and this is not medical advice but a lot of people are saying take this herb take this supplement take this whatever and it'll and it'll heal you everybody is different and depending on the state of your nervous system depending on the state of your chemistry of your body different herbs and supplements are going to react differently and so to just say and do this blanket approach like just just take ashwagandha just take cordyceps, just take reishi, just take, you know, and here's the thing. I'm a huge fan of herbs. I'm a huge fan of, of the mushrooms. I'm a huge fan of these things, but we have to learn if they are good for us. So just trying all of these things could actually be making things worse. Okay. So these are the big things. These are the big ways in which we can actually begin to heal our nervous system at the root starting with the emotional how are what emotions are you live are you holding in your body and in your field another big 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 one you guys and this will totally change the state of your nervous system and your health is living in alignment with your soul living in alignment with your soul so many people's nervous systems are taxed out because they're living a life incongruent with who they came to be 
when we are not living in congruency with who we came to be on a soul level, our nervous system will reflect this back to us. Our nervous system will show us we're out of alignment. Our nervous system and body will communicate with us. And so it's never just about doing the physical things or just releasing all of our trauma. It's how are we living in the now that is incongruent or rather is congruent with our higher self, with what our higher self came here to live out and become in this world. Really one of the biggest nervous system stressors is not living in alignment with your soul. This doesn't mean that you have to be doing the thing that you think you need to be doing right now today. Like, here's the thing, like be, be gentle, be kind on yourself. There's a process and there are steps to doing this and becoming this and work with someone, work with someone who can help hold you in this process of becoming. Otherwise it can feel like very overwhelming and very like, what do I do? Like, what's the right next step? But know that your soul has been guiding you and priming you your whole life for living your purpose and your your path. So do not stress about that. And that is a whole other topic that we're not gonna be getting into. But these are the big heavy hitters. These are the big heavy hitters that when we address these, we can actually live with a balanced nervous system. And that's where we begin to, okay, let's now begin to strengthen our nervous system. Let's take our nervous system to the gym. Let's do things that, that, that will um, create that resiliency right? This is going to be doing things that like make us feel a little fearful, that make us feel like a little bit stressed out, that, that we don't, we don't know if we're quite ready for, right? These are going to be the things It's like, no, but you are ready because you had the thought and the idea and you felt pulled and call, called and, and pulled to do it. These will strengthen the nervous system because then on the other side of that, it's like, did that. I created that. I overcame that. That builds our resiliency. And so again, I really want to preface though, there's such a fine line between there's not, we just have to, we, this, this is where intuition comes in. We have to know if we're in a place of being able to push our nervous system and, and test it and create that resiliency, or if our nervous system needs the rest the rejuvenation and the the deeper holding and work we really need to understand this this is i mean you could also think of this akin as well to like like in bodybuilding where they they bulk and then they cut and then they bulk and then they cut um and not even just bodybuilding but you know in in a lot of these types of sports and things like that that's kind of the idea is like there's a time for like nurturing the nervous system and like feeding the body a lot and then there's a time for like okay i'm gonna like push myself and go hard and then i'm gonna like relax and like bolster the nervous system and then i'm gonna push and go hard and right so it's this balance but if you are in like chronic chronic stress and fatigue it might take a while for you to really get that that capacity back in you to be able to push yourself it might take a few months a few years of really tending to your nervous system first before pushing it. But again, work with someone or learn to cultivate your intuition to be able to see and know this. And ultimately, this is going to come back to trusting the body. What does your body tell you? What is your body leading and guiding you to do? Then, after all of this, then we get into the daily practices, which if you're not on my email list, I just recently shared and I was talking about my favorite practices. So if you're not on my email list, I share really great, valuable things. The link for that will be below. And I was talking about my favorite nervous system things that I do every single day. There are a few things that I do every single day to regulate my nervous system. And especially when things get a little bit wild and crazy out in the collective, which they've been. Some of the things that I really love to do are TRE. I love doing TRE. I find that this is like a great way to just release a little bit every single day. If you're not familiar with TRE, Google it. I've taught clients and friends how to do it. 
uh, this is not the episode to teach you this, but if if you are a client, I will help, happily show you how to do this if if we intuit that it is good for you. For me personally, my body loves it. It feels just like a at the end of the day, it just like resets my nervous system. And essentially it's just this like the tremoring, the shaking. And this is how animals and mammals get rid of trauma. If they get in a a, a conflict or a whatever with another animal, you'll see them. They'll go and they shake. As humans, we can do this too to release things. So I find it's just like feels really good. I do obviously energy work every day which I also have my daily energy practices and a really powerful energy clearing that will be below that link for that. It's in the miracle frequency or if you're, if you're in that, um, otherwise they also have it as a standalone. So the links below will be, the links will be below for those. And then of course the miracle frequency, like I shared at the beginning, our intuition is our greatest tool for navigating what our body needs, what our nervous system needs. So, and it'll just help you live a more magical life. And we all want, at least I do. And a lot of people that work with me do want a more magical life. So if you're not in the miracle frequency. The link is below for that. And then really it just having nourishing foods, having foods that you know, work well with your body and that can support you. And again, this is where intuition is going to come in because I do think that working with the physical is going to be really important. So knowing when the body is wanting grounding foods versus stimulating foods versus cold versus heat, this is learning our body in a new way, right? To support our nervous system. And yeah, those are my, oh, and then music is a really powerful one that music and frequency, frequency is so powerful for regulating our nervous system. I also have a Healy device, which it's right here. Show you guys. I have my Healy device. I use this every day as well. This is so powerful for regulating the nervous system. I mean, it's not, it, there are programs that are specific for the nervous system, but really like there's thousands of frequencies, whether it is Chinese medicine, whether it is all types of black flower homeopathy, flower essences. There is harmonization of every single organ and system in your body. There is a detox. There is all of these types of things, which like detoxing the body is physical as much as it is energetic. And as we do it on the energetic, the physical will follow. It's truly an incredible device. And I love mine so much. A link will be below for purchasing one of those, which if you're catching this recent, like within what day is it? If you're catching this within a few weeks of when it is out, they're having a huge big sale right now. Um, so if you've been like on the fence to get one, I highly recommend getting one now. And those are really the things that I do daily to, to bolster my nervous system and to, to clear, to clean and cleanse my field, to feel and stay resilient. You know, just like we take a shower every day or brush our teeth every day or do these things to cleanse our physical body. We also have to do things to cleanse our emotional and energetic body. And when we do this, we maintain a healthy nervous system. We maintain a resilient nervous system. And that is what we are going to continue to need moving forward in these wild times we are in. Intuition and a balanced nervous system, the most important things that we can cultivate. So with that, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment, reach or reach out at I am Jasmine Elise on Instagram. And with that, all of the links that I mentioned will be below. I'm just sending you all infinite love.